All right, so now we're gonna get into sort of customizing the home page, and this could go on uh, for quite some time, depending on how much you need on your homepage, so some of the features that you need on your homepage. Um, but for a demonstration example, we're sort of just gonna set it up the way that our theme demonstrates it here. And uh, one more time, just so you, we all understand that this is con dummy content that's already loaded into the site. And what Baton does by default is displays it as if you were building um, a more static homepage. And I'm gonna dive into that so you can understand where we're, where we're going with it. So you've already got Baton installed, you've already got Note installed, you've got some content in here. We're gonna go ahead and hit Customize. And under the widget section, um, you'll notice that by default, you don't see a home page sidebar. So what we do, what we need to do is we need to activate this home page sidebar because that's where we're going to go ahead and drop uh, some widgets under or into. So what we need to do is go to general settings, static front page. And as soon as you select a static um, front page, I'll select home and then hit save and publish just so that that's saved. <clears throat> what you can see here is now there's no more default, uh, there's no more default view that we just saw before, the demo view, right? We just got this home page uh, with the content on the left, sidebar on the right, but now what we're gonna do is drop some widgets into the home page sidebar so that we can build our website. Let's go into the widget section, front page. So, and now, okay, let me take a step back. Now you see that the front page sidebar is activated. Click on that. No widgets here, but now we're gonna add widgets. That's what's gonna build our homepage. So the first thing we're gonna do is add the first note widget. And I'm also gonna pull up um, wordpress.org slash themes slash baton. So you see in the thumbnail, that's what it looks like. And if we click on preview, let's get that out of the way. Um, what we wanna do is we wanna make this. We wanna make it look like this. This is what you saw in wordpress.org and this is what you want for your business website, right? Let's just say that, let's get this tab out of the way. All right, so homepage is set. We've activated the homepage. We have our, we're in our front page sidebar. And now what we wanna do is we wanna add these note widgets. Um, so first thing we wanna do is drop in the note widget here like you, like you saw me do. And you have Baton Hero 1 and 2. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on Baton Hero 1. This will do some uh, customization magic. <laughs> uh, and you can see on the right-hand side, we have this hero widget area, right? So again, just so we can see, we want this. We wanna have this nice little hero widget area with a call to action for clicking um, this button. So I'm gonna say something like, here is my call to action. Now I'm clicking in the customizer. I'm editing this content live on the front end. Uh, that's what Note and Baton does. It's really powerful. So and I'll just say, add my cool subline here. Sublime, uh, sub, I'll just say uh, subheading <laughs> here. And then we have this button. So when this is a, a kind of a unique thing. So when we click on um, the button area, I'm gonna say amazing, if I can spell, say amazing, wow amazing call to action and I'm going to highlight it so you can see the little editor pops up again this is all note uh, our note plugin and then I'm going to link it and I'm just going to make up a page I'll just say about page right now I think there's an about page here yes click on that boom I'm going to apply that link so now it's linked right and you can see that it changes color it's a link color but how do we get that button style we select it one more time we go to formats Scroll down to the bottom of formats and you can see we have two buttons available, two button styles. Um, this is probably the best one to go with by default. Um, go solid color background. This goes in line with whatever um, primary color scheme you have selected with the, with, the, um, with the baton theme. But I could select that again. I go back to formats and I can try this one, which is sort of an inverse. So the white background with a solid color in the middle. But I'm gonna go one more time, formats. Okay, so now we're getting closer to our theme. How do we get this image in the background? You hover over the uh, hero area. You'll see this little um, helper tool uh, bar show up. We're gonna click on edit background image. Image, excuse me. And I've already uploaded some themes, or some images. So I'm just gonna pick this one. And boom, sets the background image full width 
right in the Hero 1 widget. Um, no fussing around with image sizes and whatnot. You definitely want to have a full, uh, probably like a 1920 um, image or 1600 image, you know, some high res image that's also compressed and, and not this huge five megabyte file, something that's still going to load fast. Uh, and now you can actually say, you know what, I don't like the dark font against this sort of sky. I don't like how it sort of competes with the header. That's okay. You can select this. I can use my touchpad mouse. You can select this and then change the font color to white. You can also realign this if you wanted to, all of that fun stuff. So that's how you set up uh, the first hero widget in uh, are on the homepage. So what does our th theme demo look like next? Well, we've got this sort of features area here. So we'll, let's see how we set that up. Pull up the customizer again. I'm gonna add another note widget here, right below that, note widget. And we're gonna drop in the features section. Now this is one of the features I really love about Baton and I feel like a lot of themes get wrong. So a lot of themes have sort of just like we have here, they have these feature sections, you can put in your services, your product features, so on your team, that kind of thing. But they give you, like in this example, they give you four places to put this content. So if you only have three, or if you have eight, you're sort of playing around with, gee, how do I fit this stuff into these four fields that they give me? And when they give me four fields and I only have two, it just doesn't look right. The awesome thing about uh, the note widget with Baton is we can control the columns and the rows of your feature section without sort of messing around with CSS. So here's a quick example. Uh, check out our awesome features. Uh, our product blows away the competition, competition, if I can spell. And then you can go in and start saying feature one, feature two. I'm not going to go through typing out all of this stuff, but I will for this example, feature three and feature four. Now, if I can spell again, <laughs> feature four. And same thing, you can see these little helper icons pop up. I can drop it a little, I, I can drop an image here, any image really, but if it's a nice little styled icon that you have, um, you can really play around with this and really make this a real customized area. So I'm gonna say text, I'm gonna go over here, text, oops, text, text, right? So this is just examples, just showing you that you can type in anything, you can link it, you can select it, you can do all the formatting stuff that we did before. But the real powerful thing, which uh, I was just mentioning is, what happens if we don't have four features? Maybe we only have three. Gra grab the column adjuster, bring it to three. And then magically, <laughs> uh, through the power of live, end, uh, live front end editing in the note widget, we now have three features. So you're not guessing, you're not saying, boy, you know, um, I only have these four fields that they gave me, and if I put the first three in, it's all on the left-hand side in this sort of empty space, how do I fix that? Don't worry, you can adjust it. Maybe down the road you do add that fourth feature simply drag it back to number four or to four columns and now we have our four columns again super easy what if you have eight don't worry <laughs> you can add rows uh that i just clicked on three rows so if i drag that to three rows now we'll have three columns uh excuse me three rows of four columns with so 12 features right you can play with this rearrange it uh you can make another note widget you can stack these feature widgets you can do all of that fun stuff um it's pretty darn powerful powerful uh the last widget that we have in our homepage is this hero two. So you can see that hero one, big, everything's left justified. Um, it's, it's tall. It's really meant to be at the top. It could be anywhere really, but really meant to be at the top. And then the second hero is a little bit shorter, a little bit more compact and it's centered everything. Well, the content centered. So let's take a look um, at this. So this didn't re, uh, let me just hit save and publish. There's obviously when I switched out of that, that didn't work. So let's just refresh. Give this a second here. This is uh, on my local host. It's a little slow for some reason. I don't know if I have a bunch of stuff running in the background. It doesn't seem like I do. Anyway, um, widgets, front page. Now what we'll do is we'll add in that hero widget and note widget here. And we're gonna say that this is hero two and let's get the customizer out of the way. Okay, so one more time, hero one, feature widget, hero two. And when we do this, we can do the same thing. 
We can add a new background image. My hero. The darker font looks pretty good there. This is a test. In this particular image, it's going to be a little tough to get uh, text looking good against this sort of background. But maybe we don't even need it. Maybe we don't need a sub headline. So let's get rid of this. Oops. I'm not getting used to this uh, trackpad mouse, wireless mouse thing. And then my hero and uh, the button text. And you can see the, the distinct differences in the sizes of those hero widgets. And again, you can continue to build out your entire homepage, more heroes, more features, regular note widgets. You can do all of that stuff. That's how we get these widgets up and running. Um, that's what makes Baton a drag and drop um, theme, but done the WordPress way. These are just standard WordPress widgets. We're not creating a new customizer. We're not trying to make new features for WordPress. And you can drag these, rearrange them around your homepage. It's really that easy. Uh, it's pretty powerful. And um, we just feel that's a nice, clean, easy to use building experience. You can get Baton for free at wordpress.org slash themes slash Baton. And if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody.